everyone, this is Ginger from my sister Scrapper. I have a cute little calendar project I want to share with you today. Um, I know it's already the first week of January, but I went ahead and sent the, this is actually a gift, so I mailed it off and I want to share the video with you now because I didn't want her to see it before she got it. I'm calling this my junk calendar. I've been going through my um, stash and my hoard vault with my paper and trying to use up all of my stuff because it's just overwhelming and I really want some new stuff with all the new lines coming out so I'm really trying to use up what I have. So what I did was I found some, anyway the calendar measures it's six and a quarter by eight and a half. I bound it with my cinch at the top and um, I found some Tim Holtz little stickers that I saw I made the year 2013. I layered that on there. This is the Tim Holtz sewing room die that I went ahead and cut out a regular chipboard and then painted the um, the stand here with the black paint and then went over with some diamond uh, black diamond stickles. I made a little skirt out of some tulle, tied a little pink bow around there and stuck a bling here. These are some paper flowers that my good friend Monique Mason had made. She made We did a mini album swap and she made me some extra flowers out of paper so I'm trying to use them up because they're darling. I love them and it's a Tim Holtz tattered floral dye. So thank you Monique. Love them. This is a Recollections flower that I just found and stuck it on there. Again, this is a spare, um, Hobby Lobby key, and I think it's called Spare Parts. That's their brand. So I attached that on there with some glossy accents. I tore a piece of the paper and just slapped it on there and because I wanted a pink background with the butterflies. And I inked around the, all of my edges with walnut stain. And I have the Tim Holtz uh, tissue tape and the little dispenser, but I never use it. And I don't know why, because it was tons of fun. So I dug that out and... I just tissue taped a bunch of stuff, just stuck random strips um, wherever, so you'll see a lot of that in there, so that was kind of fun. So it will stand up, but I'm going to show you the pages lay it, with it laying down like this so it's easier for you to see. I inked all my edges again with uh, Tim Holtz Walnut Stain. So you open it up, <coughs> and here's January. Now for the calendars, um, as I was going through my stash, I found a 12 by 12 sheet with all of the calendars, it, all the months on one sheet of 12 by 12. And they're actually from the We Are Memory Keepers Baby Mine Baby Girl Collection. I don't know, but I had one sheet and I have no idea. I was saving it for something, who knows what. I think a mini album, but I already made a mini album and I didn't use this. Um, so I thought, oh, I could use that. That would be really cute. And I thought, well, how am I gonna put the numbers on there? So again, I dug out my stamps. Because I thought, well, I can't print them on there. I could go, I'm not buying anything. So I dug through my stamps. I did find a little stamp set that I had had. Don't ask me what brand it is. Um, and it had some little individual letters and numbers. So I painstakingly stamped every single one of those calendars with my little number stamp using some um, Timber Brown Stays On ink. So that was fun, time consuming, but I did do all of them. And then I went ahead and distressed them with my Tim Holtz distressing tool. And each of the calendars I only glued down on the bottom here the bottom here and this left side so I could make it a pocket that would be easy to get the tags in and out because the calendars are on different parts of the page throughout the for each month. I did a lot of stamping in this mini album. All the tags, they all have a tag here. Uh, this is a little Primus stamp here and then the other stamps. I just got out my box and set it open and just randomly picked stamps that I thought would look cute and just stamped away. I'm not a big stamper but I had I mean I got some I got some stamping done man. So I'm not sure for the um, the holes. I think what I'm going to do is um, I've got a bunch of colors of the twine from the twinery, and I think I'm going to go ahead and do like three colors in in one and tie a little bow with that. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Use some twine instead of ribbon. So I think that's what I'm going to do for that before I mail it off to her. I got to get it in the mail. So again, tissue tape here. This is a little download, and I think it's from a Marion Smith download that I had purchased, and I cut it out, made a little pocket out of it. And these little tickets are also one of her downloads that I had digital digital downloads that I purchased. So that was kind of fun. And then I added a Tim Holtz little clip here, and this is a Tim Holtz. I think these are called baubles. Again, I had it in my stash forever. Um, I put it on a giant jump ring and just kind of attached it to the clip. And the clip's holding on something on the back side. So there you have it, that's January. <clears throat> and if there was a holiday in the month, I tried to not make it a theme calendar, but <clears throat> I did for February, because I found this little charm that said kiss, kiss, and hello Valentine's Day, so I thought that was kind of cute. I just attached it to a jump ring, or not a jump ring, well yeah, I did a jump ring, and then I attached it to a Tim Holtz swivel clasp, but I'd taken the chain off and, and just attached it that way onto my binding here. 
These, these two little postcards right here were actually some um, free downloads from the Graphics Fairies blog. So she's got some amazing um, free digital images. They're fabulous. So you should sign up on her blog. It's wonderful. Um, again, I got some more little flowers that Monique Mason had made for me. And then this is another ticket from Marion Smith, one of her digital downloads that I had purchased. I took the ticket and I sp spritzed it with water and scrunched it up because I wanted it to match the little flowers because it was going to be the center of my flower. And then I spritzed um, all of the calendars and this little ticket with the Lindy Stamp Gang Glitz Spritz in Sunset Pink. So it just gives it the, all you see is the pink mica stuff or whatever they use, the shimmer, whatever that stuff is. And then I went ahead and put a little Recollections Rose in there. I found one pink one left in my stash, so I stuck that in there. And so here is the little tag for February. And it's a little, uh, this is actually a Just Right Stamp stamp. It's a perfume bottle label. I thought that was kind of cute. And that's a Prima stamp. So that's February. And then for March, uh, this is for my sister for her birthday. I got lots of birthdays, and I'm trying to get ahead of the game here, but I'm giving this to her early. Um, her birthday's in March, so I went ahead and went through my stash and I found some girls' paper read letters, so I spelled out her name, Karen. I had a little Martha Stewart butterfly here. This was a chipboard swirl that I have no idea where I got. It was just a plain one, and I painted it with some white dauber paint, and then I heat embossed it with some Stardust heat embossing powder that I had in my stash in a little jar I didn't know I had. This is a little paper clip from, and I don't know, I think I got them at Joann's, but I'm not sure who it's from. This is another Marion Smith little ticket, so that's just a clip right there, and I inked everything with walnut stain. This is a Marion Smith download that I went ahead and cut out and just glued them back to back. Love the little bird. This is a digital download of hers that I had purchased, so she can do some notes and stuff on that. Again, I got some tissue tape here. I just randomly pulled it off and just stuck it wherever. Um, and then so because Mount March is her birthday month, I put a little bling on the day of her birthday. So, and here's the tag. Can I show you the tag? No, there's a tag for this one. This is a little Prima stamp that I had gotten in a, um, in a swap. So it was really cute. I think I got that from Trudy. Thank you, Trudy. Just now using it. I think that's the one you had sent me. Anyway, uh, and this is another one of those Just Right stamps. It's again, it's a little label with the music notes. I thought it was kind of pretty, but I'm not sure if I got it upside down or not. Anyway. It's darling. So that goes in there. So that's the month of her birthday, March. So then you flip it over. For April, oopsie, it's a little heavy here. Really, I have way too much stuff here. Okay, so for April, I used my little tissue tape. I kind of got addicted to it, and I stuck some here and here, and I... Um, glued this little tab down that I had cut out with my corner chomper and attached it on top and then I made a little pocket. Again, this is another Marion Smith download that I just folded in half and glued it back to back to make a little cute little front here with the flower and then lines on the back for journaling spot. Love the butterfly here. This paper was amazing. The paper line is one I had in my hoard vault. It's Pink Paisley Spring Jubilee. It's very vibrant. The graphics are huge on it, but you know, it that it was darling and I'm trying to use my stuff up so here's the April calendar and um, this little perfume bottle it says love that's again the just right stamp set and then there's that perfume bottle again and then I found in my stash hello I had a package of bloomers that I haven't even, haven't even opened the Webster's pages bloomers so this hot pink I thought looked really cute on here so I stuck that on there as well I'm calling this my junk my junk calendar because I just kind of threw everything on here Again, this is May. Some more of those flowers from my good friend Monique Mason, which, yeah, hello, fabulous. These are the, I think she's the Tim Holtz Tattered Floral Dye on this. I did spritz these two with uh, Gossamer Gold Moon Shadow Mist from Lindy Stamping. And this is a little postcard that I had done a uh, journal swap with uh, Allison from Allie Loves Album, mini albums. I think it's her YouTube channel. She's darling. Hey, Allison. Um, and she had sent me some little stamped images as little extras in the little swap that we've done. And this is, I love, I, I really wish I could find this stamp. It is so darling. I have a stamp that just has the birds on the little branch. But this is an actual postcard. And it's so stinking adorable. Love it. Anyway, she stamped on a craft paper and I thought it was cute. So I am parting with one of these because I was kind of hoarding them again because they're so stinking adorable. Spritzed it with the Moon Shadow Mist. Here's, um... The month of May. Again, I added some tissue tape down here. And here's a cute little 
tag that I stamped. These are just random stamps. I have no clue who these are from. <clears throat> I think this one might be a Hero Art stamp. And that's another Just Right stamp. But I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that. And then again, another one of those little paper clips. And it says Life. And that's just stuck on there because it was cute. So that's May. And then we have June. So for June, I um, went ahead and used a Tim Holtz journaling spot, a couple of butterflies from a Martha Stewart punch. I added some little crochet lace trim here and some flatback pearls. Love the bird with a little crown on, the, on it. And then this is a little Brad from Bow Bunny. This is a little gear from Tim Holtz. And I found this little button. I think it came off of a Brad. And so I just, no, it is a Brad. I stuck the Brad in there and I glued down with some glossy accents. And this is a little free uh, affirmer that I got off of that. Uh, I think I got this from the Graphics Fury, but I'm not sure. But it's a little official notice of marriage. And, you know, since June, everybody likes to have summer June weddings. I thought that was kind of cute. as a little journaling spot and a photo op. And here's the tag for this one. It says, So Fair and Pretty. And that's, again, a Prima stamp. And this is a Prima stamp here. And this one, I think, is Prima, but I'm not sure. And that, that I know the little crown is Prima. Okay, so on my calendars, this is June. And then the way it works is... We're done with this month, so we're going to take it and we're going to flip this over and then turn it back around. And because I wanted my binding to um, be hidden, it's a little awkward at first, but it still works. So hopefully I have this straight on here. This is July. Um, this big time card is... I found um, a pack of ephemera from the girl from Pink Paisley's Daily Junk and these little things were in there so this is, this is a Pink, Pink Paisley um, paper line I went ahead and added these on there and again it's it's a junk calendar some more tissue tape this I put on some little foam tape this is the month of July I love this paper I mean it's just it's it's pretty well out there <laughs> and then again another bird I think it's a hero art stamp and then these I know are little prima stamps total cuteness so that's July so you flip it up, and then here is August, and then here's my seam. So I am going to rotate this around a little bit so it's easier to, to see here. But it will stand up like this, just so you know. Okay, so we have July. Or no, we, have, we just did July. August, hello. Hello. Um, this is a little EK Success punch that I don't have, but I don't know how I got this. Anyway, I think it was when I was doing some design team work for my local scrapbook store. I had a leftover uh, butterfly. And this is some authentic paper. It's um, a script. So I put some little bling here in the middle of the butterfly, and I did spray him as well with Gossamer Gold. This is the back side of one of those paper clips. I just went ahead and um, put this little bling in the middle and glued it down with glossy accents. Again, some more of that bloomers trim from Webster's Pages that I didn't know I had, that I had. And here is the calendar for August, or the tag for August. This is a Tim Holtz stamp right here, this script right, right here. Again, some more cute little tissue tape. I kind of like that. So here's September. On September, um, I used a bunch of the ephemera from the uh, Hello Pink Paisley. Yeah, Daily Junk. I had a pack of ephemera that I didn't know I had. So I dumped it out, and then these little rose cutouts were part of that. Same with the little bird. Again, some more Whipsters. Uh, bloomers here, the hot pink. I stuck that at the top. And then I just glued it down here and just this part of the bird, so this little tag would go in there and I put a little piece of the design paper on the back and there's a cute little heart from the pink paisley daily junk ephemera here's September and here's a little tag for that there's that cute little prima dress form stamp love it and that's a prima stamp as well those were all in the same same stamp set the little bird cage and the butterfly and the little dress form so that goes back in there and we have October. So for October, again, I added some more tissue tape, some more of the ephemera from um, the Daily Junk Girls Papery line. This is some crochet lace that I um, had in a little, I'd already gathered it up and made a little circle. I think I was going to make a flower and then I never did. This is a little crocheted piece, uh, a little doily that I don't know where I got, but I got several of those and I found them in my stash as well. This is a Pink Paisley Daily Junk Little Ephemera. It's a little calendar, or a little, hello, a little clock. 
and some little lace I added to the bottom, some more tissue tape, some flat back pearls, and here is the tag for the month of October. Again, Prima stamp here, not sure, and these are all Primas on the back. Those are all in the same stamp set. So then we have November. For November, I love this paper with a bird on it. So I found this little uh, naked chipboard crown. I don't know where I got that either. So I went ahead and painted it white with some white dauber paint and then I inked around the edges and I put three little tiny bling that I found in my stash out of the, the teal turquoise color and put that on the crown, put that on the bird. Again, I made, this was white and I sp sprayed it with the Lindy Stamp Gang um, saltwater taffy, I think. And then again, some more crocheted lace that I found in my stash and I just layered that at the top. Some more tissue tape here and here and then here's the calendar for November. Or the tag. See, I do have that stamp. And this is actually uh, Crafty Secrets. Love her stamps. She's going all digital now. Her digital stuff's really cool. Um, but it doesn't have the whole... I love that one because it's the whole postcard thing. Anyway, some more stamping on the back. I think I did more stamping in this calendar than I ever have done. This little U.S. Uh, airmail ephemera was from the Pink Paisley Daily Junk ephemera pack. So then the last one is December. Uh, again, some more of that Bloomers, Webster's Pages that I stuck on there. Uh, some more, another couple of flowers that my good friend Monique had made for me. Some more tissue tape here and here. And then I found this charm, and it says royal, you know. So I stuck that in the middle here because, you know, it's December, and that it is the birth of Jesus, and he is a royal king. So, hello, I'm trying to, you know, make it all work here. And then here's, I added a little uh, vellum envelope. And I made a little tag inside. And I, I cut it out so it was just the butterfly. And I inked around and around the corners. So I thought that was kind of cute. So I stuck that on there. And it goes back in there. And again, I stuck a little piece of tissue tape. I kind of had fun with that whole tissue tape thing. That was pretty amazing. So that, I'll just put that on later. That goes back on there. And then again, the bloomers. And here's the little tag for December. Um, this was actually part of the design paper that comes with this, the the uh, Spring Jubilee paper line. And I thought it was cute, so I went ahead and cut that out and stamped the word love on there. And then there's the back side. Again, another one of those labels. So that's my little calendar, and then there's the back. And I left the back. This is just the script paper. I just left it plain, so that flips over. And there's my little calendar, my junk calendar. So it will stand up like this, um, but anyway, there you go. That's my little junk calendar for 2013. It was really, really tons of fun. Um, so there you have it, everybody. Thanks for watching. Bye.